Uh, thank you, Senator. Um, Mr. Marshall, as we all uh, watch Ukrainian soldiers and Ukrainian civilians respond to Russia who are demonstrating really great acts of heroism, I am reminded of all the heroes that you represent um, and uh, who have fought uh, bravely for our freedoms. And so today I just wanna say thank you. Um, First question I have is uh, in your oral testimony, Mr. Marshall, you, you stress the importance of the caregiver program, which I couldn't agree with you more. Um, I recently uh, introduced the Elizabeth Dole Home and Community-Based Services for Veterans and Caregivers Act of 2022 um, to provide all veterans the ability uh, to be at home for their care uh, when they need it and to stay away from institutionalized nursing home uh, care. Over uh, half of the veteran population today who use the VA are over 65 years of age. So I was wondering uh, how you uh, felt about uh, this bill that I just introduced. Thank you for that, that question, and I will yield to our legislative director, Ms. Elam. Thank you, Congresswoman. Um, excellent bill. Uh, DAV is uh, very appreciative and supports um, the bill. Lots of uh, provisions in there that are going to make a real difference in veterans' lives. We need to make sure that veterans do have those home-based uh, primary care services. Um, to continue to be able to live in their homes um, as they age to, to the extent possible. And we need to make sure that um, our aging veteran population, which is really going to increase over the next um, 20 years, that VA is prepared uh, both with the in, internal um, VA services that will be needed, the inpatient um, community living centers, our vet, veteran state homes, as well as that home-based um, directed care. So we really appreciate the hard work from you and your staff on that issue and a very thoughtful bill and happy to uh, have supported it. Uh, thank you, Ms. Elam, and thank you for your leadership. I'll stick with questions to you since I have very limited time. Um, I know Mr. Marshall talked a lot about and, and stressed a lot around women veterans, uh, sexual harassment, MST, and uh, the need for all of that. Um, can you talk a little bit about where we still need to go with regards to women veterans? I know I only have about 20 seconds left, but if you could just highlight a few. I'll make this quick then. Uh, certainly we appreciate all of those efforts um, that you've made in this regard, made a huge difference um, as has the, uh, both of these committees. And I think moving forward, we're seeing progress with regard to the zero tolerance policy that um, the secretary has put forth and letters that are starting to go out to every veteran. I've received one myself for those that use the VA healthcare system. That's a great first step. We're gonna need Congress to continue to do oversight. Um, this has been a longstanding issue. So we will be though behind you to, to make it happen. Thank you, Mr. Elam, and I yield back, Senator. Thank you. Senator Blumenthal. 